Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the Z1 analyzer and how you can customize the traces uh, as far as what they display and where they are displayed. So at the moment, I have the analyzer open with uh, two laps, uh, both from uh, Twin Ring Motegi. And uh, the default nine traces are displayed. If I want to change what one of the traces is displaying, I would right click on that trace and then I get this pop-up menu which shows all the options for each trace. The various options for the traces are subdivided into these seven categories. So if I want to display, uh, say, a steering torque in this particular trace, I would just come over here and choose steering torque. And then I get that display. If I want to choose something else, perhaps ride height, i would come down and go to the suspension menu and choose ride height. So that's how you uh, customize a uh, trace within the Z1 analyzer. So by default, there are nine traces displayed. Now you may want a trace to take up more space than what is displayed here. So you can do that by right clicking on the trace and coming down here to trace size. And there'll be various options for horizontal width and vertical height. So for this particular trace, I'm going to choose horizontal 2x, which will mean that it now takes up two spaces uh, within the window. If I wanted to, I could also have it take up three vertical spaces and use this entire bottom section of the screen. Or if you want, you can actually take a trace to go to maximize and take up the entire screen of the display. Uh, and in any of these uh, options, you can zoom in as you normally would within the Z1 analyzer just by selecting uh, part of the trace you're interested in viewing. Now to restore back to the previous display, come back here to trace size and choose restore all. And we're back to where we started at the beginning. Uh, note I'm still zoomed in, so if I double click on the trace then I would get the full uh, lap back again. So hopefully this has been a useful video and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.